This moron Kanye West has said that he doesn't read. I want to be very brief here with this whole Kanye West thing, just really, really brief. Um, Kanye West is the definition of an attention-seeking moron. Be very clear here. You're not dealing with a genius or a guy who is dealing at a higher psychological plane or somebody whose brain is operating at a greater level. No, you're dealing with an attention-seeker. You're dealing with a guy who is who has clearly learned from being with the Kardashians. And the Kardashians are media whores, attention whores. And he, he has now gotten that from the Kardashians. Because you have to be clear with what I'm saying here. I have more respect for a Candace Owens than a Kanye West. Candace Owens, I fully re reject what you're saying. And with a Candace Owens, that's a greater discussion that I can't really do right now, but it's a greater discussion as to what is happening with Candace Owens. But I have more respect for Candace Owens because you're consistent in your view and you're informed. Now, you may be misinformed what you're saying, but at least you're coming through information. This moron Kanye West has said that he doesn't read. <laughs> he, he admits that he doesn't read. And when you hear him talk, it's as if he's just getting sound bites. Because I was speaking to your boy Dan and, and that's true. It's he he doesn't it doesn't feel as if it is really coming from his own research. So he doesn't really take a point and expand upon that point. It's points, 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 sound bites, sound bites, sound bites. Because you're just receiving stuff and you just want to just say, okay, what's clickbait? Because I want to say stick to music. But the reason why I don't want to say stick to music is because that does a disservice to someone like a KRS one. Guys, go look up KRS one just talking about the education system, racism, hip. Look at him just talk about issues. Just talk. When you hear him talk, whether you agree or disagree with him, you can tell that he's done the research, he's making a point, and he's expanding upon that point because he's coming from a very informed position. Kanye West isn't coming from an informed position. He just wants attention. And Kanye West has always sought out white acceptance. Being a hip-hop legend and an incredible hip-hop producer, which he is, a superb musical genius, which is what he is, he now feels that that's not enough. He wants that white acceptance. And he has always craved white acceptance. That's why the guy is around in the fashion world and wants to be accepted within the fashion world because he just wants white people to love him and the, the, the whites in the middle upper class to love him and accept him. It's what he, he always wanted. But this is the key thing here to understand. Through oh, two, two, two more points. One point is whole BLM. Can you see you, you bloody moron? You are making an interesting point about BLM, but the way you made your point by White Lives Matter is a boneheaded way of making your, your, your point. There are three stages of this whole BLM thing and most movements. The statements, the statements which now gets organized, and then the institution. For Black Lives Matter, see, Black Lives Matter, it should be Black Lives Matter too. We all know what BLM means and what Black Lives Matter means and what it means, but guys are like, oh, what about white lives as well? Well, okay, Black Lives Matter too, because we already know white lives matter, but because of the history of racism and Jim Crow in America, Black Lives Matter do not matter as much as white lives based on the history of America and the psychological bias built into white people based on that history. It's simple biology, simple human conditioning. So I'm with the statement, and the statement must get organized for it to be effective. I'm not with the institution because when you now build it into institution, guys can now compromise it. Hence why you see a lady who used six mil to build like um, to, to live in a mansion of BLM money. But you don't get away from the statement. That's one thing. Second thing is this genius. Kanye West is a musical genius within the paradigm of music. Don't now take a guy who is a musical genius and now claim he's just a general genius. Being a genius of life which requires education and being informed, is very different from being a musical genius. Those are two very different worlds. Final thing, if he apologizes and says, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, are you going to forgive this clown? 